Are you pretty new to 3D printing like I am and you had three parts or four parts like this in which you could just put them all together so you don't have to deal with the seam work or it makes it easier to print because you just have one large piece? So stick around. I'm going to show you a tip I learned from my friend Dana. This way we could put all these together. Now I'll tell you this doesn't work all of the time. I have run across one file that I'll show you has some deviations in it and once I figure out how to fix those I'll make another video. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up Microsoft's 3D Builder. This is free from Microsoft and I'll put a link in the description below. This way if you don't have it you can download the software and use it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click open and it's going to bring up this screen here and on the side once it does open up we're going to hit load object. This is the last figure I was working on, so let me show you how the program sometimes doesn't understand what you're putting in. When you want to put things together, grab all the files at once instead of putting them one by one. Then you're just going to click open. The program will put all the files in and it's trying to put them together, but as you can see, it put the head down here and also the left and right pieces of hair. One is here and one is here, so it didn't really understand where everything was supposed to go. We can import the model and then we can click on pieces separately and we can drag them around. I'm still learning this program and I know there is a possible way of putting this together. I tried putting it together before but unfortunately it didn't meld it together or group it together or merge it together all the complete right way. So once I learn how to do this we'll make another video and show you how we manipulate the pieces into position and then we can have one solid piece. So let me take you over to show you how an easier piece is grouped together. So now that I've shown you how the program can fail and not know exactly what wants to go where, let me show you how it could take three very simple pieces. I'm working on the Count Dracula duck diorama and I want to make his cape all one piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to click insert. We're going to click add. We're going to click load object and we are going to grab all three pieces that we want. We're going to click open. It's going to drop the pieces in here. As you can see it actually put all three pieces together for us already. Let's click import model. Everything's on the bed. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it says one or more objects are individually defined. Click here to repair. So we're going to click it, let it repair and just be patient. It could take a little while. The repair process is beginning. It's going to go through and once it's done, we'll be able to work on it further. Now that the repair is done, we're going to click select all. It's going to group everything together and you can see these lines that are over here showing us that it's three separate parts, one half of the cape here, one half of the cape here, or I should say a third of the cape here and the final third of the cape here. We're just going to click group. Now it's grouped them all together. You can see the lines have gone away. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to the hamburger over here, click this, and we're going to hit save as. Once we hit save as, this window is going to come up. Do not keep it in a 3MF format. You want to hit the drop down and click STL format. Click on that. You should see all your pieces come up if you're going to save it in the same folder. The next thing I tell, would tell you not to do is do not just save it as the same name because this piece will disappear and if you want to keep all the pieces to the file as they were, rename your file. So we're just going to rename it CAPE001. We're going to hit enter and it's saving our piece now. Now that our piece is saved, we can go back over to Cheeto Box and we can open a file and we can see it right here. It's CAPE001. I'm going to drop it right into Cheeto Box and there we go. We have a single solid piece. Now the next thing you have to do, just rotate it to your desired rotation. You can easily just rotate like this, but most of you already know how. And then put your supports on and you're good to go. Now I want to show you one more file that I've been working on. And this we're going to have to try to figure out how to fix it and make another video on. So I'm going to go back to 3D Builder. We're going to add in pieces here. I've been working on a Velma and I want the chest with Cthulhu on it all in one because the artist of this cut Cthulhu in a very bad spot and it takes away a lot of the detail. So this was actually three separate pieces. It put it all together like this. We're going to import the model again. We're going to let it repair but unfortunately it doesn't repair it all the way. This chest is very large. I want to make it a I think it's a quarter scale so it won't fit on my Mono X. I'm going to have to get a larger printer for this because I wanted a large size model. But once this is done repairing I will show you the deviation. Now that it's done repairing We'll blow it up. We'll hit select all 
again you can see all three pieces are selected we'll hit group and it makes it one piece now what I keep noticing on this the top half is fine there's no real line over here but if you see over here this is where the pieces meet and it still has this line and it has this little artifact over here and it has another artifact over here now that may still print it may not print it may just come out with that little bit where i have to sand it down sand this down and i can have this beautiful cthulhu in one shot the only problem with this is we're going to hit save as we're going to save it in an stl format again and we're going to name it chest 001 and it's saving it we'll go back into cheater box we'll open the file we'll go into velma and here's chest 001 we're going to plop it in and then you can see how big this chest is i i'm quite sure it could fit on um, an m3 max but i can never fit it in here and i'd have to scale it down uh, a whole bunch probably down to 60 percent at least to to fit it all in one but you can see why here i want to make it all one and again right here in cheeto box you can actually see the deviation better there's a big lip over here so it's not marrying up correctly and i would have to try to put this detail back in with some putty and take away this that part probably is no big deal i'm just scared of a failed print and there's our other artifact over there and again here's our 3d printed piece that we can do in one shot now and not have to worry about putting those three pieces together so if this video was helpful please hit that thumbs up button and hopefully you hit that subscribe button and come check out more as we learn more 3d printing techniques we'll bring them to you on videos on hobby link international thank you very much everybody take care and bye bye